What's up guys, welcome to today's vlog. Today we are doing a cooking vlog. I wanna show you guys how I like to make beer can chicken. I'm gonna walk you through it, it's very simple. So let's go ahead and uh, make this quick stop here at Home Depot, I gotta pick up a couple things and we'll go back to the house and get to cooking. <laughs> picking up some charcoal I'm gonna go with the lump charcoal because that's my preference I don't like using the briquettes because those usually have like additives and they have, they come with like uh, the lighter fluid smell and it's just not good I, I don't I don't like it I've been using the lump for a minute now recommended by my boy Robert if you're watching shout out to Robert I'm also looking for a replacement grill but I can't seem to find them let's go see if they can help me out it's my lucky day they didn't have the grill that I was looking for but this lady that works here is so nice and she actually hooked us up, pulled one out of the, the display, and it's even uh, the better kind. It's like the, the one I was gonna get was like the cheap replacement. This one has all the cutouts and the center and everything. So I'm really happy about that. It's supposed to be free, we'll see. I'm about to check out. Thumbs up. Quick stop in Publix to pick up the side dishes. What are we doing for sides? Asparagus, uh, loaded baked potato, and since these are on sale, we're going to do these. What's that? Uh, ripe plantain. Picked up some asparagus. I really like grilled asparagus. Delicious. I right, remember that grill I was showing you guys earlier. This grill is the Weber Gourmet Grill. And as you can see, this center part comes off. And the cool thing about it is I could buy additional parts to make like the... Uh, the uh, pizza on the grill they have some other pieces that you can buy so that's pretty good $40 value got it for free thank you very much miss I'm not gonna say your name at Home Depot top-notch customer service appreciate it I'm going to go ahead and start the grill and I'm gonna show you guys here real quick this is what I usually use I just got the, the, the traditional 22 inch Weber grill I use the chimney starter as you can see it's been beat up used for a couple years now but this is great I put one or two of those little cubes in there and I use it to light up the uh, the charcoal. So let's go ahead and do that and then I'll talk to you guys about how I prep the chicken and we'll do that. Okay, we're gonna leave that for a while, let it uh, burn up and let those coals turn nice and gray. So what I'm gonna do after they're ready to go is I'm gonna lay the, the charcoal on each side. And we're gonna cook the chicken in the center with indirect heat. We gotta wait for that to be ready. So in the meantime, let's go look at the, uh, let's go look at how I prep the chicken. So as far as the prepping goes, uh, for this video, I decided to just let it marinate overnight in uh, Italian uh, salad dressing. And that's it. Sometimes we, you know, we'll add some rub to it or we'll do it differently. But for today, we're doing it that way. You can do it any way you like. Today, I'm gonna use a Heineken and I have it about three quarters of the way filled up. I took the lid off with a uh, can opener. Uh, some people like to cut the can in half. I just take the lid off and we're gonna set this into the uh, beer can holder like that. And then we're gonna mount the uh, chicken straight up. Here's my whole chicken. It's uh, organic chicken. All right, let's go ahead and get this bad boy on here. Okay, so these are looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, lay them out and add a, a little bit more just to be set on the safe side. Okay, so I'm gonna add more because that's, that's not enough. Even though we're just doing one chicken and cut some vegetables and stuff, I am gonna add some more, but take a look real quick. It's gonna be on each side though because we want that indirect heat. So the whole point of us cooking it with the beer can is to keep the chicken moist and uh, so that beer kind of just steams in there while we cook it on the grill. I mentioned earlier that I prepped it with uh, uh, Italian uh, salad dressing and sometimes we do the rub, we'll do barbecue chicken. And like I said, it's just completely up to you. But as far as this, I'm gonna go ahead and add some more charcoal and then we'll come back and check in a minute. All right, so one of the things that I didn't do properly the first time, you have to push the chicken all the way down, make sure the can is in all the way up. And we're just gonna go ahead and set it there We're gonna set it there for about an hour to an hour and a half, cooking in indirect heat. We're gonna turn it a few times and let it cook. And uh, right now I'm gonna cover it for about 15 minutes and then we'll come back and check on it. 
I, since the heat was a little high, it, it's not burnt or anything. It's, it's okay still. You just got to make sure you turn it. So we're going to turn it real quick and then cover it back up again. And it's really high because I added those last pieces of uh, lump charcoal at the end there. Since we still have another 45 minutes of cooking time and we don't want this to get any darker, we're going to go ahead and put a little tin foil on it. Just like that. So to prevent it from burning or anything like that. Uh, so we're just going to turn it real quick. And I forgot to tell you guys earlier, Julie had flipped the wing tips up. That way it uh, prevents it from, you know, the wing tips from burning fast. But uh, we're gonna cover it up again and check in a few minutes. Uh, what are we having for size, Julie? We're gonna do some ripe plantain, and baked potatoes, and asparagus. Okay, we're gonna throw some green onions on here as well. And in a few minutes when I make some room here, I wanna throw in some asparagus as well. All right, everything looks good, it smells good. I'm gonna rotate it and cover it back up for a little while. You wanna be careful when you rotate it because like earlier, I ripped the skin off of one of the legs there. It's so juicy. Got the juices flowing, looks good. Before I cover it back up though, I'm gonna throw some more charcoal in it just to make sure we keep the temperature nice and even, keep it going really good. Let's go ahead and check the temperature of the chicken. I got one of these little steak gauges. I'm just gonna use this. All right, so the, a good way to tell if it's done, you can poke the chicken, and if like a little bit of the uh, blood still comes out, then that means obviously it's not cooked. If you see like clear juices coming out, then you know that's you're getting closer to it. So right now, I poked it, and the clear juices are coming out, and it's at about 165 degrees, so we're almost done. Hey, Julie, what's going on? What are we doing? Uh, we just have some extra boneless chicken breast that we're gonna add. Just now that we're here grilling, we might as well do that for lunch tomorrow. You don't know something else, eh? That looks, looks all right. Lock my light. Cover it up? Yeah. How's the asparagus? Let's just cut the thigh and the drumstick off oh, first. This is the, probably the most complicated part is taking the chicken off the beer can because it's hot. We let it rest for a few minutes, but um, Sometimes it's easy to just pull the whole chicken off or you just have to cut it off the off the can basically. Cut along the joint here too. All right. Okay, let's do this side. See, it just really falls right off the can. You don't really have to do much work. One of the things you have to be careful with is poking the can because then the beer is gonna gush out so I usually move the cut chicken off to a clean plate and then finish cutting up the the rest of the chicken up. All right, so there we go. We can put him down and then you gotta be real careful with this because it's super hot. And this, oh, we're just gonna cut straight down the middle of the breastbone. Nice and beef there, see? All right, and then this is a fairly large piece, so we'll cut it again in half. Right. Okay, that's it guys. Time to eat. Chicken came out really good. It's nice and juicy. Asparagus, everything came together really well. So here we have the plantain with the uh, white cheese in it. Julie doesn't know how to explain <laughs> what kind of cheese it is, but we got it from the uh, ethnic aisle. Very good. This is the first time I really make a video of like a how-to cooking video and it was extremely hard. It was a whole lot harder than I thought. I, I didn't really put a lot of planning into it. Maybe that's why, yeah, these cooking videos aren't that easy, especially when you're a one-man show. Until Julie got home, she started helping me, obviously, but uh, before that, it was, uh, it was pretty tough. All right, guys, so for dessert, we had the grilled peach with some Greek yogurt on it, a little bit of honey, and some granola. It was fantastic, it really tastes good. As far as the chicken, it came out really good. It tasted really, really, really good. It was really flavorful and, and juicy. And we just had a really nice time here with my family and some friends. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'm not an expert uh, or a chef or anything like that, but I thought I'd you know share this, uh, you know how we normally do it here at my house. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you later. Peace.